Hi, my name is Peyton Lake and welcome to Create Obsession. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn these fabric rolls, which you can get at the fabric store, into a really awesome rainbow swirl block pattern that I came up with. And if you are using these same fabric strips that I'm using from Kona Fabrics, please remember to buy them with coupons at the store because it is double the price if you're getting these strips pre-cut. If you are cutting your own, just make sure they're 2.5 inches wide and they have to be at least 44 inches long. You'll need three strips for each one color scheme that you're doing and you'll want it to be in a light to dark gradient times four because there are four blocks creating this rainbow swirl, which means you end up needing 12 colors to create the swirl. To pick the color scheme on this, you'll want to lay everything flat and blend it out as if you cut a color wheel and then laid it flat. So that's what I did here. I laid all my yellow to green and then I knew green would go to blue, blue to purple, then to red and to orange. And of course those light, that light orange piece would blend back into the yellow to make the whole color wheel. I just picked my three blocks based on the three that were right up against each other. And that's how I chose the four color schemes that I had. You'll start off with ironing all the strips flat to make sure that when you get ready to sew, it sews together really nice. Once you're done ironing, you'll move on to sewing each of the three color schemes together in this order if you're using the fabric strips that I am. After you're done sewing, move on to ironing because we always want to iron these flat before we do anything with them, whether it's cutting or sewing again. You'll continue the ironing, sewing, and ironing three more times per the tri-color strips because we have four different color schemes going on. And if you're using the fabric strips that I'm using, you'll do it two times since there are two strips of each color. To cut these into squares, my strips ended up being six inches wide, so I cut them six times and ended up with seven six by six inch squares. And of course I did this two times since there were two strips of each color in the fabric roll. 
cut off the salvage in the front and the end of your strips because it is not supposed to end up in your squares. Once you're done cutting everything, you'll move on to sewing it. I typically sew the top two together first, then sew the bottom two, and then I can sew top and bottom together. And I did this process throughout the entire time I was creating these. It's a lot easier to do it in a step-by-step -step format and it makes it go a lot smoother when you're sewing multiples of these blocks together. If you're trying to pick colors that aren't in the scheme that I'm using, but maybe it's a variation of it, how do you lay the block blocks down to create that kind of swirl look and this is the rule that I used. So once I laid all my colors flat and blended them out as if I was blending them on a color wheel and then you kind of just cut the wheel in half and lay it flat, I laid out two blocks, a horizontal in the top right and bottom left and then two blocks are vertical in the top left and then bottom right. And then for the colors, trying to figure out which way the colors should go, you'll start out on one side of the color wheel and work your way down. And then when you hit the second block, you'll just go straight across this way. So as if you're drawing an entire square, the colors that match up here have to be in that line that you created of the colors. And then you'll go up and that's the next color and back over to the yellow at the top. So that's how I did it. It's like if you drew an entire square surrounding the borders, that's the color scheme that you need to build your blocks into with horizontal, horizontal, vertical, vertical. When you're done sewing your block together and squaring it off, it'll be about 11 inch square to 11 and a half inch square. If your seams are a little more scant than mine, you may end up with a 12 by 12, it just depends. For me, my seam allowances end up being around 3 eighths of an inch, and I think this standard for quilting is 1 fourth of an inch. So whatever works for you, that ended up giving me the six by six blocks that I was working with. When you're done, you can sew all these blocks together to create the repeating rainbow swirl pattern or just use them on whatever projects you want. I'm using mine to create a baby blanket which is 43 inches wide by 53 inches long. I'm not quite done with it, but I'm super excited. I did use three less blocks of each color. So 12 less blocks than what you'll end up with if you're using the fabric strips. And that's all I have for you in this video. I had a lot of fun creating this pattern. I'd love to see if you take inspiration and create your own version, or even if you do this exact same pattern. Let me know in the comments below how it works out for you, or if you have any questions, I'd love to answer. Bye guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button below if you wanna see more like this and hope to see you in the next video. Peace out, bye.